The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I want to share with you a story. There was a mother who was taking her two daughters on a trip in Eretz Yisrael to Tveria. They were going to go to the beach. And as they're going to the beach, suddenly the mother starts to shriek. Her daughter, who didn't know how to swim well, was in the water, swept away by a wave. Now she didn't know what to do. She saw her going up and down the waves. She didn't know how to swim herself, so she couldn't jump into the water to save her. What should she do? There's no one around. She ran up to the road. She tried to flag down a someone, a car. Help, my daughter is drowning. An elderly man gets out of the car and he says, okay, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. His wife said, no, you can't go. He says, I have to, I have to save this person. He starts running down the beach jumps into the water, saves the girl, and brings her back to shore. As he brings the girl back, the mother says, Oh no, that's my younger daughter. She must have gone in to save my other daughter. My daughter's still in there. You got to save my daughter. So he jumps back into the water. He swims. He pulls this girl back. And as he's coming, he doesn't realize that her head was submerged in the water a little. Finally brings her in. By this time, Atzala was there. They were trying to save her life. They rushed her off to the hospital. They didn't know if the daughter would make it. She swallowed too much water. Couple hours later, this man comes running to the hospital. He comes in, he wants to know what happened. Is she okay? And they say, miracle of miracles. She's made it. She's going to be okay. And the man says, I want to tell you something. You see, you know why I jumped in over there? I happen to have been a tremendous athlete in my youth. I was a a great swimmer. But then after I got a little older, I stopped swimming so much and I was became a lawyer. And then I had a heart attack and they told me I can't swim at all. But recently, after a few months of coming back to myself, I decided I'm going to exercise again. I started to swim again. And that's why I had the ability to even go in there. But my wife told me, no, I shouldn't go because it's too dangerous. It's dangerous. My health, who knows what would happen if I tried to swim too hard. I could have another heart attack. But I didn't listen to her, I knew I had to save that girl. But then when I I brought her back, and you told me to jump in again, the other daughter was there, and I realized that I I didn't save her the way I should have, I didn't lift up her head, and because of me, perhaps she wouldn't make it. I didn't know what to do with myself, I wouldn't be able to live with that guilt. And so when you went to the hospital, I decided to go back to the seashore, I ran up to the ocean, and for the first time in my life, I'm not religious, but for the first time in my life, I started to pray. And I said, Hashem, God, you got to save this girl. I know I haven't really been the Jew I should have been. I haven't prayed to you in so long, but please, you got to save her. And I didn't stop praying. I was hoping for that miracle. And now that I came back, I'm so glad that she made it. And you know what? I'm never going to stop praying again. This man dug deep into his heart and found the Kedusha that was there. When we have a challenge, Rabbi Sai, who doesn't have a challenge today? Don't fall down. Rise higher. Become greater. Don't let the challenge knock you out. Don't be, don't let it get you down. Don't drown, chas v'sholem. But rather, start to swim. Try harder. Rise again. Become who you could become. You are a star. You gotta believe in yourself. Hashem believes in you. Hashem loves you. He loves us. That's why we're here. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.